out. Heel. Today we'll break down competitive retrieval training into 10 simple steps. This training can also help those of you that are in the process of training a service dog, as many service dogs are required to know how to pick up dropped items. When starting out, you may want to use an item that you won't mind getting damaged from chewing or biting. For example, many trainers like to start with a plastic or wooden dowel. Once your dog understands the concept, you can progress to an obedience dumbbell or items you may want a service dog to retrieve. In today's demonstration, I'll be using an obedience dumbbell from J&J Dog Supplies. They are my go-to for agility and competition training equipment. If you want to get one for yourself, I'll be sure to place a link in the description of this video. First, we're going to bring the object out and move it in a way that will get our dog to bite at it. Once they do, use your marker and reward. Since we're not using a command when we start the process, you can use either the continuation marker or the terminal marker. If you don't know what a marker is, I'd recommend checking out my video titled Marker Dog Training and the Four Quadrants of Opera Conditioning. If your dog doesn't attempt to grab the item, move it away from them to kick in that natural prey drive. In addition, have the item behind your back before you present it to your dog. You wanna work on this step until it seems as though your dog understands the concept of grabbing the item when presented. Make sure you keep the sessions nice, short, and fun. It should look something like this. Free. Good. Free. Very good. Free. Excellent. Free. Good girl. Free. Very good. The second step is very comparable to step one. The only difference is that you're going to change the position of the item each time you bring it out to present it to your dog. It should look something like this. Free. 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 For the third step, we'll ask our dog to calmly hold the item in their mouth. Once a dog takes the article, keep one hand underneath the chin and one on top of the head to prevent the dog from dropping it. If the dog drops the item, calmly place it back in the dog's mouth. Don't stress out as this can often happen in the early stages. While the dog is holding the object, we're going to calmly pet and praise our dog. After a few seconds, use your marker and reward. The climb platform that you see me using in this video comes from the Petcot company. Hands down, one of my favorite dog beds and climb platforms. I'll be sure to add a link in the description of this video. Good. Very good. Free. Nice work. In step four, we want our dogs to walk with the object in their mouth. I like to do the backwards follow exercise during this step. When you first start, you may need to continually pet your dog as you did in the previous step while you're walking. Keep in mind, it's about developing the muscle memory for our dog to hold the article while walking and then sitting in front of the handler to complete the process. Once you stop walking, ask your dog to sit and then either use your terminal marker and take the item or ask your dog to drop the item, then mark and reward. Good, very good. Free. Excellent. Step five starts with the backwards follow exercise with minimal to no additional help. Once you can get your dog to successfully perform that exercise, we'll start asking our dog to perform other commanded behaviors with the object in their mouth. This helps teach the dog to continue holding the item regardless of what barriers may stand in the way, which transfers over nicely when we start training our dog to perform the retrieve over the high jump. Now, this step isn't 100% necessary, but I've personally found more success with the retrieval training process by incorporating this into the training. Sit, heel, down. Come. Free. Excellent. Very good. Sit. Stand. Spin. Down. Come. Free. Very good, Ari. 
Step six, we want to ask our dog to start picking up the item off the ground. When I first start this, I like to place the object on the ground while still maintaining contact with it. This helps make the picture look more familiar to the dog, since they're used to taking the item from our hand. As your dog progresses, slowly start to move your hand away from the item as your dog goes to retrieve it. Good. Free. 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 In step seven, we'll start throwing the item and allowing our dog to retrieve it while it's still moving. This step is helpful since it's much easier for us to have our dogs retrieve an item that's in motion instead of asking them to perform the exercise after the object has stopped moving, which is required on the final stage. Good. Free. Very good, Ari. Very good. Free. Nice. Free. Good girl. Step eight, we'll simply go through all the previous steps, but this time we'll be adding the command before we present the physical cue. Bring, free, bring, free, bring, free, bring, good, very good, bring, good, very good. Bring, sit, heel, down, come, bring, free, bring, good girl, free, very nice. During step nine, we'll place our dog into a sit stay, set the article on the ground, then ask our dog to bring it to us. Each time, we'll place the item farther and farther away from our dog. Bring. Good. Free. Very good, Ari. Bring. Very good. Bring. Free. Very good. Bring. Out, heel, free. Good girl. Step 10, we'll put it all together for the final picture. If you've done the first nine steps correctly, then this step should be pretty smooth. If you notice that your dog is struggling, then go back to the appropriate step in the training that will help your dog overcome the struggle. For example, if your dog is having a hard time coming back to the sit front position, then work on the backwards follow exercise in step five. Bring. Out. Heel. Thank you for watching, but before you leave, I would like to announce the launch of Ari and Charlie's freeze-dried dog food. Our food starts with high quality, fresh, raw meat, bones, and whole organs. It does not contain grains, synthetic preservatives, artificial colors, or rendered byproducts. It is very important for us to use all natural ingredients. This way, we can provide your pet with biologically appropriate food for optimal performance. I personally love using this food for training. My dogs love it, and I'm sure yours will too. If you're interested, check out ariancharlies.com. If you're struggling with training, I do offer dog training obedience sessions as well as Zoom training sessions.
Lastly, I hope today's episode proves to be helpful. If so, consider becoming a member of my YouTube channel. For only $1.99 a month, you'll receive priority response to comments, access to live Q&As for members only, custom emojis, badges, and you'll help me continue making dog training content. I'll be sure to place all the links, including the sign-up link, in the description of this video. Happy training, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.